ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We are back, and ladies and gentlemen, it has not been good. But before we get into it, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, if you are new, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and notification bell so you see when I bring out videos and just to support me. But anyways, let's get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. You can see last game we played, uh, what was it? The Espanyol, I believe, the 2-1 defeat to Espanyol. We played Oviedo, unfortunately we lost 1-0. Frustrating game we played, the last Palmas we beat them 2-0. And then obviously 4 3 Uninistas. Again, a very frustrating game because we were fully on this. And just sillyly, we're just, just getting in goals, letting in goals. The goalkeeper does not seem like he's better than um, McKay. Then Racing Santander, we drew 3 3 again, 93rd minute goal. Again, another frustrating one. Zaragoza, they beat us 2 1. And they had a man sent off. Unfortunately, we were unable to capitalize on that. And Omare Bita. <clears throat> they beat us 1-0. They're at the bottom and, ladies and gentlemen, it's just been ridiculous. If you look at the league table, we're currently 11th at the moment um, with 48 points. We are about 11 points away from uh, the playoffs. It is possible, but as I said, ladies and gentlemen, we are not even going to waste time. Uh, so let's get straight into it. One of the things that I would like to bring up to you, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, this player here, Juan. That's what I will call him, um, Juan, because he's Spanish. Um, he's come in and he's been really good for us. As you can see, three goals, six start, and you can see already he's got four goals. So he's not that bad for us, but he's been our better striker. Um, Baston has dropped drastically, <clears throat> so it's been very, very frustrating. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the team we're going to play today. Coke Vegas is going to stay in goal. <clears throat> is he going to be any difference to McKay? No, but listen, we still got to keep him anyway. He did save some penalties, so <clears throat> I'm not going to complain. <clears throat> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so we have um, Medrono in the left-back posi position. Lozano, Carrillo and Trilli on the full-back position. Ibanez and Theo come back in midfield. Mela, Casada and Lucas Perez and John up front. And you know what? <clears throat> Funny enough, I don't think we've actually won a game since we've recorded you know since we've been promoted <clears throat> to the second division i do not think that we've actually won a game via recording which is a shame so hopefully today's going to be different but irrespective to where the team is it's not going to make any difference because <clears throat> we've been quite poor especially defensively that's something definitely we're gonna have to try and look at i'm not quite sure where I put my hands to where it could be. We might have to sacrifice some players and maybe play a DM. Do I think it's going to make any difference? No. But <clears throat> look at the end of the day. We just wait and see how it goes. But ladies and gentlemen, the game has kicked off. Four minutes have gone so far. And as you can see, um, Mirandez is currently 17th. But to me, it makes no difference because irrespective, we've not been great. <clears throat> Joanne who's a young player who you're not going to be expecting to be doing these things, hasn't been that bad. So uh, let's see what he can do today. Uh, yeah, but <clears throat> look, one thing is frustrating. I know I'm expecting too much, and especially from this team that's just got promoted. Um, but look, at the end of the day, that's just me. But Lucas Perez with the corner on the right-hand side, whips it into that near post. That's what we want. Even as a lot of ricochets there, and Alvaro Carrillo with the goal. But... <clears throat> As I said, not going to get carried away. We have been through this already. I did change the set piece. Unfortunately, we've had quite a lot of stuff that's left us and gone on to go to other teams. Unfortunately, one of the one of our set piece um, coach, he went to Lyon, which is frustrating, which means we do it ourselves. So I've actually put uh, Ibn Az, who's just our tallest player, onto that near post. And then we just try and attack, for, attack from there really if you really look at it ladies and gentlemen eight points away from playoffs it is possible but <clears throat> i'm not going to get carried away because we know how it goes and let's first of all wait if you see if he's on side it looks like he is offside <clears throat> we are crowding the referee hopefully it's not going to be because yeah the goal is disallowed but that's just been our story that's why i said ladies and gentlemen i i do not get excited because Anything, like I said, is possible with this team. <clears throat> How do I get this team defensively better? I'm not 
too sure, really. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely need centre backs. Theo, oh, this is good football. Oof, and a good shot by Juan. You know, the 16 year old, he shouldn't really be my starting liner like that, but it's just unfortunately that's what it's been for us. Near post again. Oh, unlucky. We managed to, they managed to clear it out. But unfortunately, we do not have another goal. <clears throat> but like I said, I shouldn't have to be relying on a youngster. But in this predicament moment, this situation, he is doing better than our season striker. Lucas Perez, for those, for those that don't know, he will be retiring at the end of the season. So that's going to free us, free us some wages. So about 7.5k, I believe it is. That's going to allow us to manoeuvre uh, in the transfer. And <clears throat> yeah, I don't think there's really any big transfers I'm thinking of. But ladies and gentlemen, I must say, uh, I am looking to kind of break the rule of Spanish players. Um, <clears throat> I'm just not sure that I can rely on just the Spanish players to get myself to where I need to go. Um, I'm really, really being serious. But... <clears throat> Hit the comments below. Let me know. Should I continue with this challenge? Or should I just, you know, have a lot more freedom to the type of players I can bring in? Theo again. Lucas Perez. Can he finish it? Yes, he does. Lucas Perez. And a nice standing ovation because he won't be for us. He won't be with us for a long time. But he does make it 2-0. And I still can't get happy because we ended up I believe 2-0 before and then something silly ended up happening and I was quite frustrated about that so <clears throat> to be fair we, we have had a lot of injuries as well which has been quite annoying but it's just how it goes to be honest with you a lot of injuries to our big players and who knows where that could have been obviously they're not they're more so our attacking players and we've been struggling with um with the injuries but the defensive players um, I think we I'm definitely going to have to really look at this and see what I can do to get a better um, uh, pair of defenders but again this is their first full season so who knows next season they could be better so I might just give them a chance but you know in that defence we don't have much option we need another left back that's for sure and then I thought he's getting on so we're going to need to improve there as well goalkeeper Coke Vegas again he's just coming this season you know maybe we'll give him another try and see how he does for the next season and really go from there but so far we've got 81 minutes that have gone and so far it looks like we might just get the first victory for a while again our form has not been great but we've you know we've slowly gotten there and today is a very very good start um but we are more or less the only team that's playing today. So teams do have an opportunity to get closer to us. Uh, we could drop back to 11th, to be fair with you. Um, but hopefully that won't be the case. But you know what, man? That sixth position potentially is available, man. That sixth position is available mathematically. Um, but that's the thing. Mathematically, is available but I'm, I'm just not too sure um, about it, to be honest with you. I'm not too sure about it. So, about South for weekend, <clears throat> to be honest. I always like to push my teams. All the teams I have are always settling for those positions there. But look, at the end of the day, we've done a good job. And as I said, it may take us another two, one or two seasons to really just push ourselves um, up the table. But look, this season we haven't been bad. A lot of games we could have really, really got some points from, which we unfortunately we didn't. So, look, man, let's sometimes put things into perspective and realise that maybe I am putting just way too much pressure on these boys. Um, and on the squad, you know, this squad needs to definitely change. Um, and we've got to look for some good players as well that can really push these players. Um, but we're trying. We are looking. Um, unfortunately, some players just don't want to come to us, but that is just how it goes. We have to make ourselves known before we can do any of those things. But, ladies and gentlemen, if we look at the schedule, to be fair, I think we are going to probably play more or less all the game. We'll come back for the last game of the season, FC Andorra. 
19th, but I believe they did beat us one time. But ladies and gentlemen, you can see here, hasn't been, re let's go back to that, hasn't really been good, um, our form. But we're back into winning ways and hopefully we should be able to slowly just get around there. But we've got some difficult games here. Granada, Abacete, Laganes, um, Ter 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 Tenerife, uh, Gijon. You know, those games are really, really big games there. So we're going to have to really see what we can do. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. We have finally won a game. Please hit the comments below. Let me know if I should keep with this Spanish challenge or just kind of have freedom to whoever I can sign from whatever country. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up and notification bell. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much and take care.